The Hippo OpenSIM Viewer allows you to view any number of OpenSIM grids or even Second Life. The first time you open it, you're not necessarily going to be taken straight to Reaction Grid. In fact, you're probably going to have to set this up in the Grids menu in the back end. Here's how you do that. Go ahead and click on the Grid button down at the bottom of the screen. In the pop-up window, click on the Add button, as highlighted here. In the Login URI field, enter in the following information exactly as I give it to you or as you see it here. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash reaction grid dot com colon eight zero zero eight forward slash. Then click the get grid info button. You'll see that all the fields are now filled in. Click on apply to lock everything in and then go back up to the top of the screen and next to the name Reaction Grid up at the top, click on Default. That way Reaction Grid will be the default grid every time you open the Hippo Viewer. Close the pop-up window and return to the login screen. To arrive straight at education.au's island, you're going to need to use the flyout window on the main screen of the Hippo Viewer. Our apologies, this is a bit hard to read right now, but if you click on Places, highlighted here, a flyout menu will pop out to the right. Use the scroll bar to scroll down, and again, it's pretty hard to read, but hover your mouse key occasionally, and the names of the various sims on the grid will be highlighted in orange. Once you find education.au, go ahead and click on that. You'll notice then that at the bottom of the window, bottom left that is, under where you enter in your first name, last name, and password, you'll see that you have the option now of arriving at education.au. I've highlighted that here for you. Unfortunately, Hippo doesn't store this starting point information. However, we'll provide a tutorial that will show you how to make education.au's island your home. Now that we have that out of the way, let's log in. The first and last names being asked for here aren't yours, they're your avatars. Go ahead and enter those in in the password and click login. You'll see this screen pop up. And once you land, everything might look gray and sort of cardboardy to you. Give it a couple of minutes to res up depending on your connection speed. Once it's loaded up, you can use your arrow keys to move around and start exploring a brave new world. Welcome.